What's up, everybody? Welcome. We're here in the Smash Lab at the Nug Smasher factory, um, Lake Havasu City, Arizona, where all of the Nug Smasher machines, parts, um, assemblies, and accessories are all designed and built right here in, at the Nug Smasher factory in Lake Havasu. Um, today, what we're going to do is a 14 gram extraction on the Nug Smasher XP. And something crazy we got going on on the XPs right now is we have a $500 golden ticket. Uh, there's one in every 10 XP shipped. These are all XP's, dealer deals, international, all XP's get one in every 10 shipped. So uh, there's a great deal if you're, if you see one of these in your XP uh, after you bought it, it's worth $500 at the Nug Smasher store. Um, you can get in there and get bags for quite a long time or whatever else other, other accessories you want. So look, keep a lookout for the golden ticket if you have an XP coming in the mail. And if you're thinking about getting one, um, also keep a lookout for the golden ticket, $500 golden ticket. So we have two seven gram bags packed right here, guys, and they're packed of seven grams of flour. Um, I personally like flour rosin for uh, the turp profile and um, the smoke flavor. I know it leaves there's a little bit there's more lipids and fats in it than than hash rosin, but uh, personally from taste, um, that's what I prefer. But I like hash rosin too. I'm not biased against it or don't don't dislike it. I just prefer flour rosin. So anyhow, that's what we're doing today, and I'm going to show you how it's done on the XP. But first, we have to determine we know what the surface area is because that's what we're using we're using two seven gram bags and we know that the seven gram bags have a specific surface area in the nug smasher xp calculator and we can do one or two things we can kind of use this yellow uh, uh, gauge indicator here that takes your your bag pressure from a 600 material psi all the way up to a 1300 material psi um, which i normally don't like to do um, or we could, uh, and in this case, we would have to double that because there's two of them. Or we could use the pressure calculator on the Nug Smasher app, which I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prefer to do. So um, I have it pulled up here. Under the tools tab of the pressure calculator, um, you have settings for the Pro or the XP. We're using the XP today. And we're going to go to the pressure gauge. Uh, uh, this is, this is a pressure gauge in, and then this is material pressure. So what I'm looking for is I know that I'm doing two bags. Right, and I know that my bag count, oops, sorry about that. My bag count are seven, they're seven gram bags, these are what these are. So, and they're packed bottle textile, and that's what this is, uh, what the, the seven gram does. If you guys have a custom size that you wanna put in there with the XP, you can, and use this tool, it's great. Um, you just go to custom size, and then you can put your uh, custom size fittings in there, and ask for the width and whatnot. So, but in this case, we're using a seven gram bag. We have two of them that we're putting in. And our material PSI that we want on those is, um, I'd like to do right at 650 material. Um, so we can put that in. And then it tells us over here what type of pressure to put on the gauge. So we know we need, you know, right between 1750 and 1800 material PSI on the gauge to give the material two seven gram bags between the plates, uh, 650 material pounds per square inch. And that's the key. So. We know that if we change this, let's say we go to one, next time we're only doing seven grams. We know that, that we have to change it and we still wanna put 650 material PSI, and this is what a lot of people don't understand about extractions, is because the surface area is less, there's only one of these bags in there, right? You need to put half the, the actual PSI on the gauge to put the same exact pressure on the material. So that's why this calculator is so crucial and, and, and it's, it's a key component of any uh, hasher or, or, um, or a flower extractor or any extra alchemist, period, um, needs to know what type of material pounds per square inch you're putting on the actual product. Put too much pressure and it mixes everything together. Put too much pressure, it gives you blowouts and everything else, so you ruin your material. Um, but uh, uh, just the right amount of pressure, uh, you really get a great result and then you're able to more importantly repeat those results time and time again so anyway that's what we're doing here today you can see what what we kind of need to do so what i'll come over here to do is i'll look at you know kind of where that that is on the gauge and it's just it's right before the 2000 there two clicks under the 2000 
So that's all the pressure that I'm going to put on this thing. So um, I, I get a real good indicator of where I'm going to go here and then I'll do a little dry run on it right there, about right right in there is where, oh, a little too far. Right there is where I need to go somewhere. So that's what I'm going to do on this. It'll be a lot easier with the flower between there because you'll have some, some play. Um, and I want to make sure that these corners are almost touching on bottle tech style. So I'm just going to take this out a little bit and I'm bring a collection tool in and I'm going to roll that corner in and roll the other one in see just to make those corners touch and that's what you're going to make sure if the corners touch guys you're going to make sure that your extraction is round your puck is round at the end so the surface area that you're putting in that you're measuring for the gauge is actually going to be what it is so you, you get a consistent result if you do that. This one's pretty good. They're almost touching there. I'm, I'm okay with that one. And now all we're gonna do at this point is we're gonna fold these bags over like a present just on each side, you know, on the front and the back. The last fold obviously is the one that you wanna slide between the plates. And then we're gonna lower the plates down. Just the height of the bag. This, what this helps us do is it helps us hold, uh, keep the parchment held in um, neatly. I think I grabbed the wrong one. This is the one for that. Gonna help us keep the parchment uh, in neatly. And the Nugs Measure XP, guys, is it, it has a uh, quarter inch all uh, 6061 aluminum frame that's bolted together with stainless uh, bolts. It's all powder coated. To get the magnet to stick to the top, there's a magnet shield on this particular unit. So um, look at that as an option. It's real inexpensive if you guys want to use the magnet here. If not, you have to do larger parchment and stick the magnet on the top. Um, but the machine's bitching. We used to build them out of steel frames instead of aluminum because uh, uh, the steel costs so much less, but the uh, weight of the unit, it just was too heavy for people to, to deal with. Steel, um, when we first made them, they were half inch steel and it was uh, 80 something, 88 pounds or something, the raw frame. So it was really heavy, a hundred pound unit by the time it was all said and done. And then we went to a three eighths steel <coughs> and um, got the weight down a little bit. And then we ended up with, when we started fiber laser cutting and doing really fine engineering, we ended up going to quarter inch steel. Um, and guys, what you're, what you're wanting to do when I'm, when I'm coming up with the pressure here is you wanna make sure that the bags are coming together um, straight, straight up and down and they're, they have an accordion-like effect and they're collapsing in on each other. The bag is actually um, holding the surface area. Uh, and, and giving you filter as well, but it's holding the main purpose of the bag is to hold the actual surface area so you know what surface area you're putting between the plates prior to the extraction so that you can know how much pressure to put on the gauge or, or uh, put on the actual product, so. And at this point, I'm just gonna build pressure real slow, you can see. trying to maintain that uh, 1800 on the gauge there look at that I'd love to see a plate full of rosin guys solventless wonderfulness now when rosin comes uh, out from between the plates it relieves pressure so you have to leave that you know fill that void uh, with the pump that's why I got my hands leaning on the pump there I'm trying to keep the most equal and steady pressure that, that possible as this um, process is happening.
if you go and put a bunch of pressure on it at this point, think of it as lava valleys, you know, you're kind of damming the flow and you don't want to do that. You want to just lend to it, keep the uh, faucet on, if you will. And we're going to do this for about 90 seconds. Um, there's a timer on the app. You can use it there. You can use your phone timer on this, uh, on the Nug Smasher XP. But you can see how great it is to get uh, wonderful solventless dabs here um, and uh, great rosin out of the, uh, out of the Nug Smasher XP. Now, what's, what's also wonderful is you can start with a Nug and get this you know, a one gram nug and actually get this, these results. And then you can and duplicate that up to a three and a half gram and then to a seven. And then, you know, all the way up to, uh, like you see what we have here, uh, 14 grams, but the, you can go all the way up to, uh, to a full ounce on this, this unit. It'll do two 14 gram bags. So um, I chose to break them up here just to, you know, cause I wasn't gonna do an ounce. I was just gonna do half. And I wanted to show you guys a, a decent, uh, uh, put a decent show on for you here. So we're, we're, we've are we been in there for right at two minutes or a little longer here, guys. We're gonna go ahead and uh, take the unit out. Now to do this, we wanna release pressure very, very light. I grab both pieces of parchment, top and bottom, and then I just release the pressure. So maybe it comes down a quarter inch, you know, so you don't want the pucks running into the actual rosin. That's the reason for that. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right all the way over there on the larger collection plate because I have it available. Look at that out. Anthony just walked in, guys. He always walks in at the opportune time, see? <laughs> Beautiful, huh? Yeah, it looks good. So I'm gonna fold it over, guys, and then, you know, my purse are doing that is just cooling it down on the, uh, on the cold plate here. And you'll see why here in a second. Yeah, cold plates are great. Um, there's this little one over there, but when, if you're doing a larger extraction, you need, need something a little larger. Um, the little ones are great too. We keep one of those in the, in the fridge here. So if you get some sappy product or something like that, that you need to collect up quick, you can. Um, but they're great too. You can collect everything on those as well. Can I cut this up for you? No, I got it. Thank you, though. Yeah. Shit. Sure. How's your door project coming? It's good. I want, you to, I want you to look at it. All right, cool. Uh, right on. That's why we're cooled it down. We can get it to stick together. And it makes our collection a lot easier here. Now, the side that I'm touching is warmer. should pop it. The warm side's gonna stick. All right. What's happening over here? Yeah. All right, guys, here we go. Once you get the bulk on the, the tool, you can just kind of mop it up. A little rosin mop. Oh shit, Jacqueline wanted an all cheese pizza. Oh. I never told him. Oh, you want me to tell him? Yeah, can you? Might be, Might be too late. See if you can do it. Okay, here we go.
Okay, so um, 4.15 grams, the yield calculator. Um, you could do the input weight here, which was 14 grams. And then we got 4.16, was it? Yep. 4.16 back, and uh, that's going to give you the yield, which is um, freaking phenomenal, by the way. 30%, 29.71, real close to 30%. So um, from flower back, and it looks really good too. Um, it's a little darker than I'd like to see, but it smells amazing. This is going to be, and, and it's, it's a big lump. Once it's pressed out, it'll be a nice color. So um, there, you, there you have it, um, the Nug Smasher XP. So remember guys, there, there is in, you know, if you do have one coming in the mail, there is a bunch of golden tickets out there in them that are being shipped. So uh, one in every 10 XP shipped will have a golden ticket in it again. Um, make sure you're looking out for that, uh, that special there. Um, and if you're opening your XP and you find, it, find this, uh, it's worth $500 at the Nug Smasher store, nugsmasher.com. All you gotta do is call it contact customer service via the chat window and uh, over at nugsmasher.com and they'll, uh, they'll help you out, help you redeem that right away and you can get started getting bags and other accessories you want um, for your XP. But anyhow, um, really appreciate you guys tuning in. You can see how the gauge together with the calculator tool or the, uh, the pressure calculator on the Nug Smasher app um, really works amazing, the Nug Smasher XP. It's a great unit, uh, digital PID, but great unit. Uh, it has uh, two heaters in each plate. Uh, they're 160 watts each, so four total heaters at 160 watts each in the, in the unit. Uh, the digital uh, PID and then the manual pressure gauge work together with the Nug Smasher app. Makes a really great combination and allows you to um, repeat your results consistently. Uh, hey, 30 per 29.71%. Oh, whoa, the what? Motorbreath. Oh, nice. Wow, right? Nice. Anyway, guys, like, subscribe, tell a friend. Uh, make sure you're tuning in for our live specials. They're, they're, if we're having one, they're usually on, on Thursdays at 2 p.m. YouTube and uh, Facebook we're doing live specials. So make sure you're tuning in for that. Um, <clears throat> remember, guys, we have customer service here at the factory where these things are built, right here in this very same building. Uh, seven days a week to serve you guys. Any questions you need, they're there to serve you. Uh, don't forget about that. You can you can call them at the factory number or you can uh, just chat at nugsmasher.com and it gets right to them. They'll answer you right back. So anyhow, um, until next time, guys.